And an update tonight on the story of a real estate nightmare that our viewers have been following for months. And it's not flattering for the provincial government and a few others. We caught up with Lori and Don McKibben today as they finally took possession of the house they bought months ago. Al Sweeney joined us live in studio with the latest on their housing saga. Good evening, Al. Hi there, Taz. Well, this is about the renter who wouldn't move out. Lori and Don bought the house in East Hamilton, but couldn't move in for months because the tenant wouldn't leave. Lori and Don McKibben finally got the keys today and could start the process of moving into their house. It begins with clearing out rooms of stuff left in the house and garage, but it's their new home. I don't think it's hip yet. I've been here so many times looking at the house and wandering around the place. It's been stressful. It's very been stressful. It's been up and down, up and down. The McKibbins were ready to close the house deal on May 8th. But a tenant who rented from the previous owner wouldn't leave, even though the owner said the rent wasn't being paid. The tenant said he couldn't afford to go anywhere else. The McKibbins put up a sign saying, Squatters, your time is up. Leave now. And tried parking their trailer in the driveway and they asked for help. They say there was none from the police who called it a civil matter and went further. If I was caught coming on the property, then I could be charged with trespassing. I sent emails to Doug Ford. I sent them to his housing. I never received anything back. And a local MPP. Neil Lumsden did absolutely nothing. The courts did not help. They hindered us more than they helped us. By courts, they mean the landlord and tenant board. The courts did nothing for us. It was the media that, that put the pressure on. They say a lot of people saw and heard about the story through CHCH and other media and were appalled. The system has failed. We talked to a real estate lawyer who says she sees other cases like this, tenants who won't leave, and says the law needs a better balance between the rights of tenants and buyers. There's certainly an imbalance in favor of tenants and there needs to be significant protections for tenants. That's very important. But the way it's set up now is just not practical. They, they need to do some kind of overhaul. In this case, the renter told us today he left for health reasons and because the new owners wanted him out. While the McKibbins are preparing to move in. A really cozy home. And for Don and I to go into retirement. They hope to be able to live in the house by the end of the month. I think I need a good cry. I really think I need a good cry. So Lori and Don say complete strangers have been coming up to them saying, you're the people who own the house. And they've gotten a lot of support from them and the, the media. They also say, for the record, the federal MP for Hamilton Centre, former city councillor Matthew Green, was a help. Apart from that, they say they were on their own. 